All ISPs try to tout the speed you get if you give them your money, and it's easy enough to compare speeds to dollars and find the best value. But do you really get the speeds they advertise? Here's how to test to see how fast your ISP really is and research the speeds of the competitors. Speed tests abound on the internet. Some are more complicated than others, and the accuracy can be questionable. I like the speed test at DSLreports.com. You don't even have to know what kind of service you have. Just pick a city you want to test against. Picking a nearby city is fair for testing the claims ISPs make. It errs on the side of the fastest conditions under your ISP's control. If you pick one far away, that subjects the speed to more distance and more interference from other carriers, but can really prove the muscle of your ISP. Before you start the test, shut down every application you have running and close any tabs. That goes for every computer on your home network. If you have anything else using your bandwidth, then the test application will register a lower amount than you actually received. Once you're ready, click on your chosen city. And the app will start using dummy data to measure the latency, download, and upload data transfer rates. You'll see a mark on a graph for your results at the end compared to the results of others who use the test. This can be filtered by zip code or ISP. If you filter by ISP, you can see what speeds others have reported and use that as a check against their claimed speeds. Now, remember, you'll never get exactly the rate advertised because bandwidth is shared. In cable systems, it's shared with your neighbors, so the speed may fluctuate wildly depending on how many people are using it when you test. Even in Fios and DSL situations, overall network traffic can affect speeds. So it's best to do a few tests at different times of day and even from a few different services. DSL Reports offers a directory to worldwide speed tests, including some offered by CNET. Hope that helps you get a handle on how to measure the speed you're paying for. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple and I'll see you there.